Hi there, so if you haven't heard yet, Sapper will sadly not be making it to version 1.0, and if you're like me, I used Sapper whenever I was doing anything with Svelte pretty much, um, and just knowing that it doesn't have a future makes me not want to use it anymore. So some alternatives would be Elder.js, this one seems to be gaining a lot of popularity, and seems to be especially good for huge sites with lots of pages, something like Wikipedia, uh, <coughs> where it's using data to populate all those pages. There's another one, Routify. This one seems to just be kind of solid, has lots of features, um, a lot of people using this one. And then one that is, um, I think you can use, but I don't know if it's quite version 1.0, but it's called Plenty, and it's built on Go, so it's pretty speedy. The thing I'm waiting for is themes to come out, and then I'll start uh, using it and making videos on it. Okay, so those are three options. I think Jungle.js, I heard. I don't know if that's still in development. Um, but what you can look forward to is this guy right here, Svelte.js Kit. So... Right here I have highlighted, um, its aim is to replicate Sapper's functionality in its entirety. Cool. So it uses Snowpack, that's uh, one thing, and it does server-side rendering and routing and all those cool things. So I would suggest watching this video. I'm not going to get that deep into it, but Rich will explain, um, so Google this here, and all of the features that are coming. So if you want to play around with it, so I've got a server running right here. Let me close that. You can do... Um, npm init svelte at next in the folder that you want to use it, and then npm install, and then npm run dev, and if you want it to open in your browser, you can add this here. So let me run the browser. I'm not sure if this is going to work well because my computer, while I'm recording, is pretty slow, so it's not going to be very impressive. So um, watch this video here. But let's come here to localhost 3000. This I added myself, so you won't have that there. Um, so you'll see here this layout, just there's like this routes folder and components, similar to Sapper. There's this layout component, so I just added get wrapped. And then I've got an index and about. And you'll see here, getting errors, you'll probably get errors as well. Um, so it's still, it's definitely not production ready yet. So um, the cool thing, let's see, hopefully this works, is here I am, localhost 2000. So if I want, I can click multiple times, clicks eight, and then I can change this component and when I change it, come back here, see it's pretty quick, uh, even for my computer, and it's still an eight, so it preserves the state. Um, so that's one cool feature of that, especially, you know, sometimes I've had where, like, I'm building something that takes clicks and clicks to get to what I need, and so it reloads, and then I have to, like, re-click everything to just test it manually. So that's pretty cool. Um, another thing it does is, well, okay, I, I don't really know that much, but you can see here there's snowpack config, and there's no rollup config, it's just felt. You can do adapter node, you can do adapter static if you um, if you npm install this for dev. You'll see package.json here. Um, it's pretty small, just dev build. So you can play around with it. Uh, it does a lot of things I don't quite understand, like optimization, servers, or side rendering, or static generation, these types of things. Um, so play around with it. Let me know what you think. Watch that video and that it is it for this video.